there I'm doing a truly old school video here. Nothing works on my phone right now, so there's a big thunderstorm going on outside and that always inspires me. So it is the question about building up magic for projects or work or whatever you are beginning and starting and you are building it up. Nothing can be done with, well, it can be done with one simple ritual if you put enough work in the real world into it, but to help it, especially in this time on earth, we truly to try to get everything going. And the first step, of course, is blessing and consecration. And that is up to you to decide if that will be the birthday of the projects, whether you have it in your hand or not, or you have started something, or if you do it for the whole build-up that will continue. Often when you create something or you do something, it builds up to different projects afterwards. But it can be like a birth date for the start of something new. And the consecration or blessing, you choose which one. And the other way to go is that you set a specific birthday. And this is what they do often in big companies and the music industry and the book releases, some at least. And uh, they select a date. And politics, of course. They select a certain date when they want something to be born and created, and that gives you the opportunity of a natal chart. And you can do that with a project as well, uh, so that's not a problem, but just think of if you want to include the zodiac and the planets, or if you want to do it with pure angelical and you don't care about the zodiac and the planets, it's completely up to you. But always follow your intuition first, and it can be that small hunch that I need to get it going right now, that kind of thing. And well, as always, ask for guidance from the angels. They love to teach and share their wisdom, so don't be afraid of asking them. And I see it as different steps. For me, it's when I start to focus, plan, research, and taking notes of ideas, that's usually the beginning for me since I'm always up thinking. And then you have, when you start to take action in the real world, whatever it means for you, whether you start typing or you start drawing or you go for a job interview or whatever it is, or you go move to a new town, whatever, it can be so different. And then third stage is when you have the prototype product or the action in the real world that starts on a specific day. And you can bless and add on magic on good days. And that is the days that you choose with either the planets, the zodiacs or just days that you feel that is right. And um, you can do it once a month or once a year, depending on the project and how big it's going to be. And it is just to give that extra oomph there. And the plus with doing multiple rituals, and I always use different angels for every ritual, is to... It is like a time capsule in many ways that you put in with a blessing of a certain date in to the product that will or the project that will be born and that is something you must feel for yourself inside and always listen to the angels or the spirits you are working with there and the final is of the magic for this part is when you spread and release it to the world but of course after it has been released to the world one time or you stepped out to the world one time, then you, that might give birth to new opportunities that continues to grow on this one. So you choose if you want to keep them separate or 
just one thing that will, for simplicity, that it is one thing that keeps building up. And uh, there is one plus side to working with angelical consecration, and that is that you never need to repower it. And uh, like others do in many traditions let's say that they bless everything every full moon they need to do a ritual or every uh, dark moon or when the new moon is they start the ritual or in the middle and they keep on doing that with an angel you can call on each of the angels one time and that will last forever so it is completely for you to choose here and also, one thing that many overlook, that that is you can um, see how your own natal chart compares to the natal chart of the birth date that you set to the project or starting a work or a business or whatever it is. So these are just inspirations and things that I learned. And... It is quite fun since I stepped away. I used to do zodiacal and planetary magic all the time. And then it became more and more filled with trust and faith. And I stepped away with it. And now I just do a ritual whenever an angel approaches me. Okay, let's do that. And then I go ahead. But yet this is how you can create a ritual that gets a birth date and a natal chart. And uh, since we all come from different traditions and cultures, let it be something that inspires you. I love you all and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.